What's up everybody? Welcome back to the damn video. Vlog today. We're feeling vloggy today. Uh, I realized that I haven't done these types of vlogs for a very long time. We've just had uh, Andy at the helm, which is great. It is great and I do thoroughly enjoy that because it takes a lot of pressure off me. Obviously running one of our, obviously running my online coaching, then obviously all the other social media aspects of my life. I'm pretty fucking busy. Uh, so picking up a camera, isn't always the uh, easiest thing to do. But we're gonna do it today, because today we've got a full day of eating on a training day. So those of you guys who watch these videos, I know you love them. I know you love a good eating video. So we're gonna get into it. So today's macros, uh, we're gonna go 650, six, 600 carb, 300 protein, and 70 fat or so. Um, so there's gonna be a good amount of food going in. It's right around 4,350, 3, uh, 4,400 calories. So you can see that we have pushed up food pretty decently. Considering I finished my prep at like 2,600, like eight weeks ago, nine weeks ago, eating 4,000 feels good, man. Um, it's about quarter to eight in the morning and we're gonna get our first meal of the day in. I've been fasting for the last like six weeks and then just training. So I'd fast till like nine, 10, go train and then I just eat my food and the rest of the day. But it's getting to the point where I'm missing a few calories at the end of the day. So I'm just bringing my meal forward and uh, getting my meals in a little bit earlier so we can obviously account for the extra food that's gonna go in over the, uh, the next few months. judge me our toaster is broken so we've been grilling stuff and it's not until it's gone that you realize how much I toast things apparently I toast everything because I've been using this grill a lot so we're gonna come into meal one so meal one in fact what you're gonna notice about these meals is they're very high carb like I've got 650 grams of carbs to eat. I only have like four four meals and a snack so this literally small plate of bagels and jam there's 50 grams of jam on there two bagels it's 120 grams of carbs, boom, in. What else do you need? Easy digestible protein. Uh, we've literally got 60 grams of whey here, which is about 50 grams of protein. Um, and that's literally meal one. Total macros for this, 116.8 carbs. If for those of you guys who are gonna go, that's not 120 grams of carbs, that's only 115. Okay, all right. <laughs> uh, 10 grams of fat. The fat has obviously just come from the bagels here. And there's a little bit, like there's like three grams in the, uh, in the whey and then 60 grams of protein. Uh, these bagels do have gluten in them, uh, which is obviously a form of protein. So your protein in these bagels is gonna be like 10 grams or something. Um, I like to have most of my protein for the day. So that 300 grams of protein, I count all protein, but of that 300 grams, maybe 250 of it is from a complete source. Now a complete source, uh, it's just a fancy way for saying a total protein. And a total protein is um, a, a protein that has the full amino acid spectrum with essential amino acids and also the branch chain amino acids. Uh, just as a quick little thing, like all animal products pretty much have a wide, like the full spectrum. But for example, rice um, and beans, uh, they only have like part of the amino acids, but if you combine them together, you have the full amino acid spectrum. So I try and get as much, I try and get about 250 grams from complete sources like whey, chicken, beef, animal proteins. The extra 50 grams is just there for the the, the trace proteins that are there. So I'm gonna get into this. And uh, this little bagel right here, that right there is about 40 carb. Go on. <laughs> mm. So intro workout is back in. Intro workout is back in, which means that we've got 15 grams of these EAAs. I've gone for the Conte sports EAAs. Uh, I literally just do like 15, 15 uh, grams of EA is just like a, a decent protein source that's easily absorbable and I combine that with a carb powder. This is the one from Insight uh, and Foresight Nutrition. The reason why I have a good carb powder mixed with a uh, like a protein, I um, also put some hydration things in there as well, is because they actually pass through the gastric lining really easily. So they basically, you basically, so in layman's terms, you drink them, you use them really, really easily. Um, there's a little bit of, uh, there's a little bit of research to say that actually drinking uh, an intra workout combined with a highly digestible EAA with a highly digestible, potentially like a highly di highly branched cyclic dextrin would be a good option um, as a carb powder, can mitigate some muscle protein synthesis. And obviously 
when do you cause muscle protein breakdown? Pretty much only in the workout. So kind of providing the nutrients on the demand uh, is a little bit. Is it going to be a big difference? Probably not. But if it's a 0 0.001, it's back in. Uh, it's also a good window to eat. So there's 40 carb in here, 15 protein. So that is even more calories. <laughs> So post-workout meal, I've got three flatbreads. I've got 200 grams of chicken and I've got 150 grams of golden nuggets. Golden nuggets, nuggets of peace. And uh, this meal comes out at 230 grams of carbs. So you can consider we've already had 120 for our breakfast, 40 intra, that's 180, plus 220. This is literally for 400 carb. Yeah, 400 carb for the day. And we're only on meal two. 20 grams of fat. Um, most of that fat is from either, like, I think there's like five grams of fat from the golden nuggets. And then I've got tzatziki, which is obviously a little bit fat, but it's not a big deal for me. Um, and then there's 96 grams of protein, but obviously there's only 50 grams of that coming from uh, the chicken. 12 from the golden nuggets and 27 grams of protein from the flatbread. Are you fucking all right? That's nearly a serving. But again, you know, the reason why we've got slightly higher protein is to to account for those trace proteins. Um, I usually just like, I'll grab a bag of salad and I'll just fill the flatbreads full of salad. Uh, that's kind of how I get my vegetables in. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that my diet's perfect. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that I have, you know, seven or eight vegetable servings per day. I should do, for sure. Fruit, vegetables should be towards eight to 10 a day. Um, but at this moment in time, um, I'm in that process of working that stuff back in because obviously post-show had the old blowout. Taste buds just can't fucking handle it. That's the reality. My taste buds can't handle <laughs> eating loads of vegetables right now, which is pretty great. Um, and not the right thing to do. So I'm going to sit here, eat this, watch another podcast, and then I've got a good evening of work. And we'll, and we'll see you the next meal. It's only one o'clock, by the way, 1 p.m. Another simple meal, two bagels, onions, tomatoes, tuna, mayo. Let's get down, I'm hungry. Now that is maybe like 36 rolls of sushi. I got a thousand calories left, so it's more than enough to take me over to my daily calories. Now this is, I wanted to put this in here because this is the perfect example of how I would do my days and how I find a little bit of balance during my off season. Now, I wouldn't do this every day, especially recently. I've been trying to tighten up on my diet a little bit because in off season it can get very high, like high in food, which is gonna put emphasis on your cholesterol. It's gonna put emphasis on your HbA1c as well, your blood glucose. So of the cheats or have the off plan meals, I should say, like this is the perfect one, it's rice. It's avocado and it's salmon. I don't get like the fried ones anymore. Like obviously when I'm having a cheat um, or a little bit of something that I'm not gonna track completely, um, then I'll obviously have something fried maybe. But for this, like I'll track this in my fitness pal. This is way over my calories for the day. I'm a couple hundred over, but I'm more than happy to go over. Um, at this point in, in, in my off season, especially as I'm still pretty lean and actually under eight yesterday. And that's the honesty of it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna eat this meal. I've got no other food to eat for today. I don't really need to eat any more food. It is uh, quarter to eight now. So every meal is roughly every three to four hours. Why? I'm gonna tell you why in a second. Now the reason why every do it every three to four hours is, is because we wanna, um, now this is to be optimal. This isn't for everyone. This isn't for everyone just trying to improve their physique, you know, but optimally there may be some potential benefits in hitting enough protein regularly over the day. For example, you know, just having enough protein, maybe 30 to 40 grams of protein from an animal product, you're gonna have a minimum amount of leucine in there and essential amino acid, which is key for uh, muscle protein synthesis. So if we're constantly spiking muscle protein synthesis throughout the day when we're trying to recover, it, it, you know, it, it could potentially help that swing a little bit if you were just having one meal or two meals. I don't think there's much in it, but marginal gains, that's what I'm living for. I'm living for those marginal gains, so. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else. There's not There's not too much else I don't wanna to touch upon. And that's pretty much it, guys. I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna leave it there. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I just wanna do straight food, really. I didn't wanna show you too much in the gym um, or, at, or anything in the gym. I just wanted to show you the food that I eat. Um, we'll definitely do like a series of this throughout the off season because the food will change. And, and obviously as food goes up, we've gotta make some ideas to get some more food in. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you very soon, everybody. Peace.